What influence or lasting impact did that upbringing have on your life or your later trajectory? I mean, what have you brought with you, if anything, from that? Culturally, yeah. um, the music has a real important thing, which is that by some cultural accident, it has the same drop kick as reggae. The mechanics of the, uh, the Arabic beat, the baladi rhythms, mm, da, da, mm, da, 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 mm, da, is actually mechanically, foundationally, the same building blocks of the reggae beat, da, 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 mm, da, da, which is the emphasis on three of the bar and the absence of one. Three, four, three, four, two, three, four, nothing, two, three, you know. And growing up with that, kind of almost, you know, part of my genes, you know, genetic structure, musically, surrounded by that rhythm. And then The Clash had the brilliant idea of attempting to actually play reggae. And they did a track called Police and Thieves. And ironically, the police came along and thieved that idea. <laughs> but uh, we had a secret weapon which was the baladi rhythms of the, of the Lebanese mountains.